this side, one surgical removal on this side. Since then, I've been thrust out front. I've been approached by many people that see me as a voice for those that don't have a voice. Um, I see what happens in the courtroom, but now I get to see what happens in the community as mm -hmm. people approach me and tell me the stories of their interaction with the police, that when there are no charges, these stories don't make the statistics, they just get buried away. Um, Fade has presented not only statistics, but solutions. I think that's a difference in Fade's approach, is that we've given you solutions. And what we want out of the REI training is not just for people to attend and say we attended, let's move on, but we're looking for a genuine and sincere effort from the leaders of the city to start dialogue so that we're all on the same page, so that we all have a common de definition of institutional racism, so that you know that we're not just pointing fingers, that we are all in a line and have a place to start with. We've pointed out, you've heard the statistics, Durham is number one for this, Durham's number one for that. We've also heard tonight that Durham is number one on a lot of negative issues. What we're here to talk about is social health, the social health of Durham. The HRC has an opportunity tonight to put social health of Durham in the forefront. Durham downtown is doing well. Let's take this opportunity, we've given a solution, to work on the social health of Durham and make it the city that it can be. Let's not leave those people that don't have a voice behind. I've seen them, they're real, their stories need to be heard, and actions need to be taken.